If you were to compare your body to a vehicle, what type of vehicle would you choose? I think most people would like to be a sports car. Now don't get me wrong, there's plenty of people out there that would love to be a tank or maybe a tow truck. They would like nothing more than to be able to latch on to a semi-truck and trailer or maybe a 747 and haul it wherever it needs to go. But most of us, we would like to be muscular and lean with aesthetic lines, quick and powerful performance oriented machines. Now to build a race car, and of course I'm talking about a street legal one here, we're gonna need a few things. First, we'll need parts. And then we're gonna need someone who's able to assemble all these parts. So we'll have to hire a mechanic. And finally, this mechanic won't work for free, so we're going to have to come up with some money. Building muscle isn't all that different. We need parts. And these parts come from protein in the form of amino acids. And as for the mechanic, well, he's the hormones involved in protein synthesis. And the money? Well, that's the energy we need to build muscle. And that comes from carbs and fats. Now, what if we don't give the mechanic enough parts to build the vehicle? Well, then we're not going to get a sports car, are we? But on the reverse side of things, what if we give him lots of parts? We even give him spare parts. We give him a couple extra steering wheels and maybe a few spare door handles. Then what happens? Well, there's still a limit to how fast the mechanic can work and how fast he can build the car. And as for all the spare parts, they're just going to end up being stored somewhere as waste. Now there's a way we might be able to get a little bit more out of the mechanic. And that's if we pay him a bit better. But even then, the mechanic can only work so fast, no matter what the incentive is, he can only get the car done so quickly. Our bodies are that sports car. And there's only so much protein we can use and only so many fats and carbs needed in order for us to reach our maximum muscle growth potential. The rest just gets stored. And this is a key point when it comes to bulking. We only need so much protein for maximum results. And the same is true when it comes to the energy needed to build muscle. Now if we were to look at the energy storage system on our body or the fat storage system on our body like a bank, we soon come to realize that when it comes to building muscle, it's not about how much energy we put into the bank, it's about how much energy we take out of the bank to use to build this muscle. We need to pay the mechanic, not put the money in the bank for the mechanic. He quits working if we keep the money. We have to give it to him. So it's not about what we store, it's about what we use. Most people are already bulked. And they don't need to be in a calorie surplus in order to build muscle. They already have a surplus of calories stored. This doesn't mean that there's no place for a lean bulk. If you are lean enough, you will need to be in a calorie surplus in order to build muscle. Because you won't have enough stored. But that doesn't apply to the majority of people. What is more important is that we use high performance parts which in the case of our bodies is the food that we take in. Some people use bulking as an excuse to eat poorly, when in reality, if they ate properly, they wouldn't eat to bulk in the first place. I think it's good to remember that the plan when we're making this sports car is to reveal it at some point. And if we don't use high quality parts and build it right, we're not gonna end up with a sports car. We're not even going to end up with a tank. We're going to end up with a garbage truck. And nobody wins races with a garbage truck. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50 signing out. Keep working out. Keep having fun building that sports car. And we will talk to you again in that next video.